Technology and medicine have made some incredible leaps in the last few years. We can now replicate body parts, which in years gone by, we'd have to find a donor for. Now, most of the time, if you need something like this, you'll either have a pacemaker fitted or some other part, just one or two. But a Channel 4 documentary has taken a look to see just how much bionics we can cram into one person. Check it out. If you thought a Rolex was bling, think again. Because if you really want to be a million dollar man, you've got to be fly on the inside. And that's where this comes in. The £640,000, or indeed million dollar, bionic man. This six foot two piece of techno wizardry was put together from the most groundbreaking artificial body parts around, including working ears, eyes, kidneys, heart, spleen, and wait for it, even blood and feet, and fingers, and a trachea. So you'd have to have a pretty serious accident to need to make use of all the tech on display here. Fortunately, rather than being for one lucky, or unlucky, patient, the Bionic Man was assembled simply to show what's possible as part of a Channel 4 documentary, and was unveiled at London Science Museum on February 5th. Swiss social psychologist Bertolt Mayer is the face of the documentary, and the robot and is himself benefiting from technological innovation, having an artificial left hand. He's amazed by what we're capable of creating. One of my personal favourites is the artificial blood that runs through these tubings, and because this is made of nanoparticles that are able to bind oxygen and give them off, just like real blood can do. But this is not a real blood, this is nanoparticles. Mm. And I thought that was absolutely science fiction. He says this kind of technology gives a new lease of life to people suffering from serious problems or disabilities, including himself. But he says unfortunately it's unlikely many people who need them will see these implants anytime soon. So the first time I was able to flex my wrist uh, with that prosthetic limb, but I'd never been able to do that before. Of course, it was a bit frustrating to be told that not only is this technology not ready yet, but also when it becomes available, it'll be so expensive that it'll be completely out of question for me. I won't be able to afford it and my insurance won't pay for it. Mm. And that also highlights some of the ethical issues at stake when we look at technology like this. The technology is there and more and more will become available, but fewer and fewer people will be able to get it funded through their insurance companies. So for the moment, most of this technology is confined to the bionic man. If you want to come face to face with this bizarre but breathtaking robot though, it's currently on display at London Science Museum. So with so many replacement parts now on offer, it does raise some very interesting questions about longevity. Should we be living forever? Should we be replacing body parts because they wear out? Let us know your thoughts in a comment, and as always, like, share this video if you do like it, and subscribe to our channel.